What is going on everybody? We are back and I was in debate about this for a while if I should do this video, but I think I ought to. Um, I'm going to be reviewing Power Rangers, the 25th episode anniversary, and I'm going to give you guys a quick overview. I'm not going to go over every single little detail. Um, I'm going to go over it as best I can. I don't normally go over this on my channel, but I figured this was something special enough to go over, give you guys my thoughts, give you guys my opinion of the episode, what I think about it, what I think of uh, Power Rangers then and now as a whole. Um, but it does start off with uh, Tommy Oliver. Um, yes, Jason David Frick returned his re, uh, return for the role with Tommy Oliver, and it does get revealed that he has a son. He's returning home and he gets ambushed by some kind of monster then it goes to the present rangers and then it goes into uh them going back to their base and it gets revealed that the three rangers that have been coming to them is the time force red ranger you've got the uh blue dino charge and you got another ranger and they all get revealed of who they are it also does get revealed that there are other uh multiverses i guess you'd say of other rangers and there's rangers that's been going missing and when they go to visit uh tommy they find that this uh character lord draven that has come from another uh multiverse he is i guess collecting rangers and you see tommy that bows him they're like what is this and later gets revealed it's a robot or, or an android i guess you would say or a robot android and it basically can take the form of someone which was tommy and they go after these characters uh, from the home world. It does get revealed that they get ambushed and then someone ambushes the enemy and does reveal it's Tommy as the Black Dino Ranger. And he does inform them that he was taken. He escaped. And there's been others that has taken there. So they lead them into, I guess, the palace, I guess you would say. And they have a big old fight and some of the others go into the palace to rescue uh, all of the rest of the rangers you got rocky you got tj you got catherine you got um trent you got a couple others uh now they do uh get them out of there and they say that there's that there's been a cloning process of uh robo uh rangers i guess you would say that has been taking the form of them they've just been uh de designed a little differently and right when tommy's about ready to leave he gets ambushed by his clone and they start fighting but it does get revealed that he has a master morpher now guys he's able to change with this from the black dino thunder ranger to the zero red ranger to the white ranger to the green ranger now out of my opinion this was the best part of the episode this was the best part of the episode now after he defeats the uh the clone uh it does go back to the original rangers they're trying to get these arrows from uh, lord draven if he keeps shooting them into the sky he's going to break uh open all the verses so him and the others can take over the uh, other dimensions now when that happens uh he shoots one more in the sky so there's only one left the rangers lose their powers but then they see the entire army of lord draven and then of course right when they think all hope is lost they have all the legends return and they're about ready to help so they all morph and we have a big battle um and we do see where they all work together and then they defeat all the army and then you see draven try to use one last arrow and then we see where he shoots in there in the air and tommy morphs into the white ranger grabs it and he shoots it back at uh lord draven after he captures it and they have all the rangers use their uh their blasters to blast him to help basically get his attention off and they do destroy him um and when he's uh got bigger due to the uh villain now again guys i do not know every single character because um which i will get to here in a second but they all say, okay, it was great, you know, working together, you know, the whole normal, you know, like, okay, you know, have good luck. But it does get revealed that I guess the, the wife and mother of Tommy's son is Catherine, which they did put into the Soul of the Dragon, which I liked that very much. They also put uh, the uh, device they used to travel to different world uh, Power Ranger worlds, which West showed, which was in the comics. So I'm glad they did that as well. They're actually putting a lot what's in the books and the comics into the show, which actually makes a lot of sense because if they're going to ever do a Lord Dragon series, they I think they need to because they need to include all that. But 
for the episode as a whole. I enjoyed it. The only reason I watched it was yes because of the quote unquote legends returning because honestly guys out of my opinion the latest seasons of Power Rangers have become really cheesy out of my opinion I haven't been following it it's a lot of just it's real cheesy and I don't mean to like offend anybody or upset anybody you know um it's just this has been really cheesy to me because I mean if you look at someone that I mean there's some that are around my age and I was you know I'm a 90s kid so I'm used to the Mighty Morphin and up and I watched from Mighty Morphin to Dino Thunder after that I stopped watching but other than that it's just become real cheesy out of my opinion but I still like what they're trying to do the comics have been amazing the uh, characters have been really good I just think that some of the they've just been doing kind of the same thing over and over again so I'm hoping that with uh, future seasons of it they do a little bit better but this season I think was something that uh or this episode i should say this was something that fans really wanted and i do like what jason david frank said that this is the episode that fans longtime fans have been wanting for a long time it actually shows every single uh ranger is a lot better than the other ones coming back because there really wasn't a big fight uh there wasn't really a lot of revealing but this one i think was a lot better than the other one that they did show and it does show how come that tommy's able to have all four of these powers and still be able to use them and same thing with the other rangers as well as so how, how there's so many different different uh, rangers in other dimensions so i found it they explained a lot there was a lot revealed so i enjoyed it hope you guys did too hope you guys let me know what you think about the episode in the comments down below i know this is a late review but again i was kind of deciding if i was going to do this i hope you guys are enjoying your day as well if you guys are new to the channel consider about subscribing links down description below click the notification bell as well once again let me know what your thoughts are about the episode what was your favorite part about the episode did you like the episode did you hate it do you think power managers is getting worse or better let me know in the comments down below and i'll see you on the next one